Hello everybody and welcome back to our awesome little adventure where we left off last time we had done some exploring, checked things out, looked at, I think we, we, ah, yes we got the ever elusive, mm, excuse me, the glass, the empty bottle, the glass jar, we got it, so, thinking there's a few other little things I want to do as exploring exploration and then I can you know get on with the plot and stuff so hopefully we can do both of those today and yeah we will go from there Like, first things first, I want to I actually want to revisit the Terror of Terrors. Not that thing. Those shop of horrors can wait. I'm gonna go back to the graveyard. After much thought and contemplation, I have a cunning plan to solve the problem. So, to Kekariko Village, specifically the graveyard. Let us not forget that you tried to solve the problem of your mother's low ceiling by cutting off her head. Wait, what the heck? All oh, the cuckoos are out. What should I do? My cuckoos have all thrown away! You little boy, please help me. Please bring them back to this pen. Did they get out again? <sighs> Alright, we're gonna check out the graveyard and then we'll come back to this. Which I guess might be similar to the um, song playing with the little uh, Lost Boys or whatever in the Lost Woods where we get more money or different stuff every time we do it. So maybe we'll get something better the next time we do it. Uh, all right. So my plan here is, actually I didn't, I didn't check any of these out real quick, so I kinda wanna check all this stuff. Shine light on the liquid. They have taken the bridge and the second hall. We have barred the gates, but cannot hold them for long. The ground shakes. Drums, drums in the deep. Light. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the demons of the We cannot get out. The shadow moves in the dark. We cannot get out. They are coming. Well, that would have been nice to know a little bit earlier. Shine light on the living. Do I have anything that will produce light? I don't. I don't think I do. <gasps> yes, I do. I do, actually. If I do that, I just need some sort of torch. But I don't have. There's no fire in here. Maybe there's fire in this room. But anyway, my plan before reading that stuff was to... Because last time, it only seemed to affect me when I was within a certain range. It'd 
appeared to do nothing. Okay, these guys are like impervious. No man can kill me. So, um... I guess I'll wait till I have some form of light. And then I'll come back to this. The other thing I thought of while... Before, you know, in the interim... Was that... I realized that their faces... Look like... The spooky mask that we sold to the little kid that was playing here in the graveyard. And so I'm thinking, yeah, their faces all look like this guy's face. Well, the mask. So I'm thinking, if I hadn't have sold it to him, I probably should have waited on selling it to him. But, you know, because maybe there was a way to, like, stealth through if I wore the mask. But, oh well. Guess we'll have to do it the hard way. <clears throat> now, I gotta see a lady about a chicken. have run away. Please help me bring back the last one to this pet. Wait, there's one more? I thought we got them all. Ah, crap. You elusive little fellow. There we go. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goose hum goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me, I will give you I will give this to you, a fine glass. It should be useful. Take good care of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I could probably keep doing this for money. But right now, I don't need money. I need a bigger wallet. Can I get a bigger wallet? Is there a way to get a bigger wallet? Oh, that is irritating. Alrighty. Well, that's that part done. I think the. I do want to see if anything changes here. Oh, the. Because the construction worker's son comes out at night. So I'm going to quickly run, go to the mask shop. Because I feel like he might be a character that takes a mask. I don't know. So I'm going to go pay back for the one I sold to the kid, then pick up whatever the next one is and see if the construction foreman's son wants it. Ooh, and while we're here, should we put something in our fancy empty jar? Because now we can do that. <laughs> You sold it. Please pay me back 30 rupees for the spooky mask now. Payment received. Alrighty. Bunny hood. With swinging rabbit ears. Sure. To our empty jar. <laughs> Welcome. Ooh, is there anything that'll? That's a lot of money that I don't have. <sighs> I was gonna say there's a way that we can produce light. 
that would be really good. But the only thing that produces light costs a lot of money. And I can't carry that much money. There has to be a way for me to carry more money. Which is really annoying. I guess our empty jar will remain empty for now. <coughs> Anything in here that we need? Welcome. Okay, I guess we will just go check out the village at night. Do those guards ever sleep? It seems like it's the same guys all the time. Oh wow, you're an odd one. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Well, let's see what he thinks of this then. I really am a good man. Don't you believe me? Funny ears? <laughs> they wobble. I really am a good man. Don't you believe me? Hmm. He needs something else. What is that sound? What the crap? A gold scotula. been in this house? I don't... I don't remember. What? Is there another one? Wow. That was... I think that's the first two that have been that close together. Any others? We'll check out this house. I don't think I have. House of Skulltula. That's not ominous. This doesn't sound like a horror film. Why is this house just like infant? Navi? Oh. Hello. What are you? Oh, dear lord. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear, collected as proof of your achievement. The number next to this icon on the quest status screen how many spiders of the curse you have destroyed. Apparently this guy sounds like Darth Sidious. I don't know why. When this icon is displayed next to this, the name of the area on the map subscreen, there are no more spiders in that area. Look for them not only in the open, but also inside the dungeons. Of course, this is just a dream. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you break the curse on my family, we will make you very rich. Uh, very rich sounds great, sir. So, um... I'll get right on that and get away from your general creepiness. Oh, 
wonder who they pissed off to get cursed. Because, I mean, usually in most stores, when, like, an entire family or something gets cursed, it's because the entire family were total jerks. Like, completely. You know, a la Beauty and the Beast. An old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. I guess we'll get on with the plot now. So I guess I need to figure out where I need to go for that, because I... It's Zora's Domain. Hyrule, Death Mountain, Kicker, Lost Woods. Okay. So it's whatever's over there. It's kind of next to the Lost Woods, but... Kind of in between the two. Okay. I guess we'll go exploring and see what we can find. There's the Lost Woods, and there's the mountain. Should be right in the middle. Which would be... I think it's the thing next to the river. I think it, I think it is this thing right here. And here we go. <laughs> Zora's River. Okay. Watch out for Swiss Current. Strong. Yep. I was right. <laughs> 